Over half of Republicans, 52%, say, I am not confident in the integrity of elections in this country. Democrats, only 5%. There's a vast difference based on partisanship. I think the number that we're most concerned about is the fact that there are a third of independent voters saying, yeah, I think there's some sort of problem here. We can't ignore that. We have to sort of be able to address that. I was surprised they were as skeptical as they were. I thought the okay. numbers would have been higher. I thought they were people who believed, were frustrated by the candidates, but not frustrated by the system. I don't think my role here is anti-Trump at all. Quite frankly, I think the people staying home are Republicans. And so I think I help my party's cause by doing this, and I'm not being anti-Trump by calling him out for, you know, the, the scream of the voter fraud. I think he's hurting himself. Um, however, I have been approached by elected Republicans who are critical of what I'm doing um, because it can appear as anti-Trump to those who don't think it through thoroughly. I really believe Trump's going to win, uh, and I believe that based upon that, he's not going to be screaming about voter fraud. And he's the, he's the voice of voter fraud out there right now. The former president is the only person who's taken it that far, knowing what guardrails are in place to ensure free and fair and safe elections. I think you know, that, that helps you know, insulate us from a lot of the worst. I disagree with the attorney general here. Uh, I don't think that Trump will win. Uh, but how close it will be, that's the, that's the real question. I think it will be incredibly close.